Hi, how's it going? I'm Cameron Young with My Nature Lab, also the educational facility of the Center for Snake Conservation. And I have with me today one of our brand new snakes. Um, this snake came to us from a pet store that, at the pet store, it wasn't liked very much. They didn't, um, they, they were afraid of it, and um, unfortunately that leads to snake that doesn't find a home. So we came in, we swooped it up, paid a little bit for it, um, but not very much. We, we actually did a, a great sale price for My Nature Lab. But I just wanted to show you this snake, and we're going to measure it here. Um, so I have my pink tape measure and my string for measuring um, snakes. So let me get the snake out here. We'll introduce her to you. Um, you can come to the lab to see this snake anytime um, that we're open and we will work with her and hopefully we'll be able all be able to hold her soon and to make sure that she doesn't have that um, yeah she's good look at her a little bit nervous from with fingers touching the the face but um, what snake isn't I mean you don't like your finger a finger pointed right at your nose do you I don't I don't like it um, had it looks like she had a bad shed the last time she shed one eye cap still on. I'll, I might make another short video of me getting that off. But all right, everybody, now guess the size of the snake. Make your guess. There, I'll hold it up. All right, now I'm going to show you how to measure a snake. Um, it's not easy. They never stop moving. It is just not easy. So this is an activity that we're going to be doing on Friday uh, of this week, in addition to our gastropod activity. So I'll, I'll email everybody out the time and post it on Facebook as well but for, we'll just get an estimate length here. So when you measure a snake, have a string, tie a knot in it, start at the tip of the nose, and then just, oh, oh, see, move too much. Gotta get, get, gotta get the snake in a good position to measure. Now ball pythons are great, because look how she's kind of balling up for me. A um, little bit nervous to the head stuff, so that's probably why the, the no one wanted this snake as a pet, but you know what? We're okay with her. She's gonna be great. So you follow down along the length of her spine here with your string. Right there is a knot that is in the string. I don't know why that one's there, but we'll just bypass that and keep going. Follow down, follow down, keep going all the way to the tip of her tail. So once I have that, I grab where the tip of her tail was, and that's how long she was. Right there, that's how long she was. What do you think? How long do you think she is? All right, little girl, unless you go that way, get out my tape measure. I said, you go that way. <laughs> she wants to be right in the measuring party. Of course, she's like, you're measuring me. Don't tell them how long I am. So. I'll start there. Gosh, she's, <laughs> she's a pretty big snake. All right, we'll just leave her right there because um, now she's kind of out of the way. So I take that and I start, I'm going to go backwards. So this is where her tail was. So we have one foot, two feet. And measuring snakes is not an exact science, unfortunately. The only way to measure it exactly is to have a dead snake and not about to do that. That's two feet. There's three feet. Who guessed three feet long? Anybody else guess longer than that? Four feet. Four feet. And so she's eight and a half inches. She's 56 and a half inches long. 56 and a half inches long. She's longer than four and a half feet. Holy smokes. Uh oh. She's got, the, got her tail on the table. <laughs> I'll, I'll turn the table. That's impressive for her to be that long. Yeah, she's wedged herself in here. Let's get her out. Perfect. Four feet, eight and a half inches long. So she's 56.5 inches long. I'm gonna get that eye cap off. Definitely come in and see, see her at My Nature Lab and we'll see you next time. Remember, this is Gastropod Week. I'll print out the schedule for the week for everybody, post it on Facebook, and send it via email. Hope everybody can join us. All right, thanks, and have a great day.